Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome back to Earthbound Blind. In the last episode, we explored around here in Tucson. We got ourselves a teddy bear, and we paid some money to Apple and Orange Kid to help us with our adventure with their inventions later on in the game. Hopefully, maybe, hopefully. I still don't know if I trust them. In this episode, we're going to be exploring the Berglin Park and see what it has to offer. So let's go ahead and start talking. Everdread has always watched over Berglin Park. That's why we don't have to bribe any crook cops. Oh man. Get, get, get out of the way. I'm trying to talk to people, man. It makes me feel good to just sit back and look at my pots. I like pots, but what I really want is the tool shop for sale sign. It's right there. Should I steal it? Mm. The for sale sign, huh? That's crazy. We talked to this guy. Hello, would you like some seasonings to add to your foods at mealtime? They are really quite miraculous. Whenever you eat something, the seasonings will sprinkle automatically. They come in these cute little package, packets and jars. What kind would you like? Uh, do I even want this stuff? I don't even know. Hello, lady. I came to buy condiments. I wonder what would be good. The right condiment makes the dish taste better, while the wrong one makes it taste worse. If the condiment matches the food, you will get more power if you ate the food than item plain. Okay. Of course, Everjet isn't a good person, but he's actually quite warm-hearted for a crime boss. Alright. Pretty cool. I sell fresh eggs. They're nutritious. Please buy this beautiful, beautiful egg, please. Sure. You're concerned about your health, even though you're young. That'll be 12 big ones. Yes, please. Eggs are really easily broken. There's no way to stop. Oh, really? I my inventory. Oh, jeez. I own an antique shop. No one's buying or selling anything. So I was thinking of selling the for sale sign that sits in front of me. It's only $98. Please buy it. Oh, does it do anything? About oh, I'm so stingy with my money. Should I? Is that required to buy? I don't even know if I need it. I like to sell my goodies on the street. Sure, flies land on them, but in my opinion, it makes them taste even better. What would you like? I don't want anything that has flies on it. Why does all these people want my money? Hey, man, you got to expand your mind and use this stuff creatively. Come on, buy some of my junk. Uh, ooh, they have the copper bracelet. I want that. Okay, so he, we need to sell him something. Let's sell him the cheap bracelet, because I don't need that no more. Especially when there's something better, like the copper bracelet, for example. Let's equip that. And we gain 10 defense. That's awesome. Sweet. Would you like some bananas? Hey, kid, I'm, yeah, n no, I don't want bananas be honest. Hello. Hey, why don't you buy the world's greatest ruler? Sure. Thank you. That's two clams. And I can't afford it. Do I need the clam? Do I, do I need the clams? Do I need the ruler? I don't know. But, what the heck? Hello. Wahaha! Why don't we chat later after we locked horns? Hello. Everjet attacked. Oh, here's that guy we were talking, hearing about in Latin. Partially in the last episode. At the end of it. And partially in this episode. But now we're fighting him now, so maybe he's... Let's see how hard he really is. 27 damage to me. I mean, that's not the worst amount of damage. 28 damage to the bear, that's fine. Uh, he doesn't seem too hard. And he tried to steal something from me and it failed. Cool. And a nice smash attack that... Wow, end that fight off! He was not difficult at all. And we're level 13! Vitality went by 1 and HP went by 14! Nice! Yes, I'm Everjet, boss of Berglin Park. When I jump off the roof, I twist my ankle. Anyway, I lost and nothing will change that. You know, you're pretty strong. Yeah, I know that you want to find out about a girl named Paula. She went off to a secret hideout in the Peaceful Rest Valley. A chubby boy and a weird guy in a blue outfit have kidnapped her, though. They said that they were going to make Paula some sort of human sacrifice. Wow, yeah, they are strange. You know, she might be gone already. You better hurry. If you save Paula, be sure to come back here, okay? Don't forget. Okay... So we need to find Paula. Um, what else do I need to do, though, to figure that out? Well, someone in the comment section in the last episode told me to go to the hotel and sleep there for a night. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So let's go and do that really quick, if I can figure out where the hotel was. Uh, it's got to be around here somewhere. Yeah, it's like right near the beginning. So where exactly is this peaceful rest valley place that was mentioned before as well? We need to figure that out. But, I guess the first thing I want to do is stay here. $50 to stay here is insane, though. Huh? Ness. 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 I'm a friend who you've never met before. My name is Paula. Can you hear me calling you? I am Paula. Ness. I am Paula. I am Paula. Can you hear me calling you? Help. Come and help me. Um, I don't know where I am. I can hear water running in the distance. Ness, please help me. Okay, so... 
Paula can talk to us through telepathy. That is some weird stuff. Let's... But where is she at? She said she heard running water running around, but I have no idea. And, hello? P -p 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 Paula, where are you? It's time for a yummy piece of pie! Oh boy, things are getting serious now. We need to go back to the Polestar Preschool and talk to that guy, which must be the father, because he must be worried sick about his daughter. We need to figure out what's going on with Paula. We keep hearing about Paula throughout the game so far, and so far we also know that she's lost, and what the heck? Is that a clown? Dude, there's a clown here! What is this madness? The New Age Retro Hippie. Okay. Use ruler. Now he can figure out the length of things to eat. <laughs> what? <laughs> he can... <th> what? <laughs> he can find the the length of things to eat. <laughs> okay. That's fine. I'm done. <laughs> Papa Paul is not home yet. Everdread and Berglin Park might know something. Oh boy, now I'm really worried. Okay, we did talk to Everdreads. So I don't know if he says anything new after going back there. Where am I supposed to go? There's a pizza place here, there's a bus station where I got- uh, Yeah, I probably should do that. No, I'm catching a bus to three. I heard there are ghosts along the way. I wonder if the bus will have to turn around and come back. Okay. What does the bus station have for me here? That's right, I'm a bus driver. For now, I'm resting. Life is short. Or life is long. Take it easy, chubs. Why don't you check out your town map and learn about this area? To take the bus, or not to take the bus. Hmm, I guess it's scared pretty easily. I can't imagine. I was in the last war, so I'm not scared of ghosts. Actually, I'm more scared of my old lady. <laughs> this town's bus system is a little strange. Be sure to check the bus stop sign. It's the one who came up with this system. Well, I don't even know. I don't know. All I need to know is figure out where Peaceful Rest Valley is, that's for sure. People in Happy Happy Village are fanic a fanatical about a strange religion. Maybe they've gotten some sort of bad fever. Be careful. If you go to the east, you can run into trouble. Peaceful Rest Valley and Happy Happy Village. Ooh, yes! UFOs. Yes, I want to go here. Happy Happy Village ahead. Yes, this is where I want to be. I heard that girl named Paula was kidnapped while helping out at the Polestar Preschool. We heard about Peaceful Rest Valley from Paula. So, we need to go ahead. Well, for Ember Dread, I think someone mentioned it. Ooh, a magic butterfly, please. Alright, so now we're heading this way. To see what is uh, happening. Because we need to figure out what the heck is going on. What does the sign say? Peaceful Rest Valley ahead. Proceed through cave. Yes! Please. Oh boy, another cave means another dungeon, meaning more enemies. What the heck is this? You confronted the mobile sprout! And a smash attack to what? Wow, okay. We didn't even get to see what he did. But he's giving us so much experience for that! That's so much power behind everything. Alright, let's try that again. The mobile sprout. Slow some Caesar on itself. Oh no, you're not. Oh no, 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 no. We can't have. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. It's off the teddy bear, dude. Don't attack my bear. You, 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 you sprouts need to go home. All right. PSI magnet. Oh, you drained my. Oh, come on. Okay, at least the seed didn't sprout. So I guess that means they're calling for help. No, stop it. The, the teddy bear doesn't have any PP. <laughs> that's great. That's a lot of experience, though, dude. That's This is, like, the best place to train if I need to. But so far, I don't think I'm having any trouble. Who are you? You hum dum da dum I'm hunting for mushrooms. I'm gonna collect a ton. Okay. There's a mole here, so that's cool. I'm not an enemy. I'm just a regular mole. Would you like to know how to survive? Yes, please. You may have noticed that, but when you've been badly hurt in battle, you may survive a mortal attack instead of 1 HP. If this has happened, it was because of your guts. Your survival may depend on your guts level. Also, more guts helps you get more SMASHING HITS! Beyond guts, you should have noticed that it takes some time for damage to be taken from you. This is because of the rolling action of the HP meter. Oops, I mean your life. If an enemy deals mortal damage to you, but you defeat all the enemies before your life is gone, you survive. This is... That is really good to know. Holy crap, that's great. Alright. What does the sign say? Crossbrace to Happy Happy Village. Can I talk to you from the other side? No, I cannot. Alright, so, I, where the heck am I? Is this Peaceful Rest Valley? I think so. Dang, there's a lot of stuff here. What the heck is this? For some real reason, a pencil-shaped iron statue is blocking the path. I can't... I can't... How, how do I progress, dude? Can I really not progress forward? The, what was the point of coming here? 
I can't even go any. I can't cross the bridge. Is there anywhere else I'm missing? Oh, there's a present over there too. I want that so bad. I want it in my stomach. I'm surprised there's no enemies here. To be honest, I thought we were gonna be fighting something, but there's n there's nothing here. What was the whole point? I guess I'm gonna be fighting some more sprouts since we need some fights in this video. I mean, jeez. Stop using PSI magnet. Just stop that. Stop using PSI magnet. Thank you for attacking the bear. Holy crap, dude. Come on now. Alright. Well, seeing as how nothing happened at all after talking to that statue that is blocking the way conveniently, what are we supposed to do now? Go back to Tucson? What the heck? Oh, wait, what? Hello? Hello, this is Apple Kid. I've just finished work on this great invention. Get over here as fast as you can. This thing is so cool. See you soon. Okay, so now we can go back to Apple Kid. Oh no. I do not want to fight those mushrooms again. I, that's, that's just not going to happen, man. I'm not doing it. Alright, so let's go back to Apple Kid, because apparently he has a nice invention for us, finally. That's so weird, though. Uh, okay, there's a person there. Oh, there's that. Oh, hello. Are you looking for that so-called genius Apple Kid? As a true genius, I'll tell you that he's in Berglund Park looking for you. Good to know. Thank you. I probably would have went to his house and not known where he was. Alright, let's go find uh, Apple Kid. Let's see. Who has not been here before? Is there anyone new? There's another hippie. Is he inside Everdred's house? No, he's not. Alright, so Apple Kid is in the park. I don't see him anywhere. Oh, is this him right here? I'm feeling really out of it because I've been working all night. But finally, the pencil eraser is ready. This machine will eradicate all pencil-shaped figures in just one second. How convenient! It's incredibly powerful. Just don't use it near a shop that sells pencils. <laughs> wow. That is mildly convenient that as soon as I talk to that, the uh, statue, and like, oh man, the statue! He gives me the thing. And what the heck is that person over there that's blue? I better go talk to that guy and see what's up. And now we got the pencil eraser. If I invest some other brilliant item, I'll call you. Alright, let's go and see what this guy is. He is the annoying old party man. The old annoying party man. What did he say? Man grumbled about today's youth? What is this game? Alright, we got the pencil eraser. How convenient. Now I'm gonna go back to Peaceful Res Valley and see if we can't get rid of that statue now that we have it. We should be able to now, though. So I don't think I need to show off that trip again. So I'll see you guys in just a moment when we get back to Peaceful Res Valley. Oh no! <laughs> My teddy bear died! No! You can't do that to my bear! Oh my goodness, he survived the fight with Everdread. We were he, he was such a loyal companion. I thought we really had a connection. And he just died on me. <laughs> a moment of silence for our poor friend. Let's fight this enemy in silence for our teddy bear friend. <laughs> <sighs> so sad. So sad. Alright, let's keep going to Peaceful Rest Valley. I guess I can come back here now since I started talking about how my bear died. That's so sad, though. Alright, well, we got the thing we were looking for. So now we can go ahead and go up here, break the statue, and progress on. And see what else we have to offer. Oh, what the heck? This wasn't here when we got here before. What the heck is this? The little UFO. And it fired a beam. Wow. It fired another beam. And these things are not that strong. Stop firing beams. And stop missing. Come on. Yay, we destroyed the little UFO, dude. He is so strong right now. And now we're level 14. Offense by 1, speed by 1, guts by 1, luck by 1, maximum HP by 3, PP1 by 1. And we learn Paralysis Alpha. Ooh, 
Ooh, I might have to try that out on some enemies in the future. Alright, pencil! For some real reason, the pencil shape is... Okay, so I need to actually use the pencil eraser. Ness used the pencil eraser. For some real reason, the iron pencil statue was erased. That's pretty sweet. Alright, so... Do I want to take the upper path, or do I want to take the lower path? Is there anything up here? Oh my goodness, you can't be serious. Yep, uh, he is so... And he's standing on the thing. Picture taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say, Fuzzy Pickles! Fuzzy Pickles! Well, we're a great photograph. It be the... Yes. Beautiful commentary by me with that guy. Okay, so there was nothing up there. So I guess the only way we can go from here is to the right. To the right. And let's see. Anything here? There's a present up there. Can I even get the... Is there a way to even get a present from up there? I don't even know. I honestly have no idea where I'm going. I'm just... What the heck is this diamond thing? Hello. The spinning robo. Ooh, what kind of music is this? And you narrowly missed the target. Awesome. Alright, you're not really threatening, actually. No! I really should heal. So I'm going to do that right now. 76 HP is so much HP. Nice, and we killed the robo. Not bad. Not bad at all. We got so much experience, though. Alright, is there was there a present up here? Or was I... There was a present up here. Hello. A travel charm inside. Can I equip that, I wonder? Oh, it's... Okay, hold on. Can it be on the body? It doesn't do anything. What would be the point of buying it or equipping it if it does nothing to me? That's weird. This place is huge. Where am I going? There's another enemy, but there's an item over here. I want it. So let's go ahead and grab that. There's a little capsule inside, but I have too much stuff. Oh my goodness, I have so much stuff. Whatever. I should probably do something in a moment with all this inventory. Use this luck capsule. Oh, it increases my luck by one. Not bad. Okay, so where do I go? That's not the right way. Uh, wow, this place is confusing. Uh, was I just here? I think I was. Oh, no! No, 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 no. I do not want to get into that right now. I do not. Th did that tree just move? Let's fight it. Oh, no. Looks like he's going to fight me even if I want him to or not. The turret, turret something oak. What do you do? You don't look very threatening. You know what? Let's just obliterate this guy. 73 damage. 29 damage. I'm going off the wall with this guy right now. Brain shock. All right, let's just get rid of this tree, please. Uh, burst into flames. 210 damage! Wow. That was certainly a ton of damage. Wowzers. What the heck? Alright, so... I was already up there. Do I have to keep going this way? There's some enemies. I don't even want to deal with those guys. There's a magic butterfly. Nice, please. Please let me heal my PPs. Hello, sir. I wonder who made the bridge impassable. Why would someone do this? Crud. I would love to know the same thing. Oh, uh, how much more of this is left? There's so much to do. All right, you guys, I think I'm going to end the episode off here. There's a ton of stuff to do, and this area is huge. So I think next time on Earthbound Blind, we're going to continue on through the Peaceful Rest Valley and do some more exploring because this area is huge, and we opened, we broke the pencil with the pencil eraser. I, I, I can't get over that. So with that being said, everybody, thank you guys so very much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time for some more Earthbound Blind. Take care, everybody.